Hello, I'm live with Dixie Beer. This is the tall can, the 24 ounce can. Did a video yesterday, it was too long, it was an hour, so I deleted it. Um, it didn't, didn't need to be that long, but anyway, I bought two cans, they were two for four dollars. We're about to go on it in a few minutes. We'll start Wild Card Wednesday. This 24 ounce can, this is my wild card. Okay, I'll be there, I'll be the only one with, Di with Dixie Beer, New Orleans, slow brewed with crystal clear water from the Mississippi River, which is still, even though it's being brewed in Memphis right now, that's the Mississippi River. Original, genuine, genuine Dixie. Made and owned in the USA. It's owned by Gail Benson, who's a New Orleans Saints football team and the New Orleans Pelicans basketball team. 4.6% alcohol. Oh, man, this can has a dent in it. I wanted to keep it. Uh, 15 IBUs. Um, let's see something here. The hops are, no, heck. They made 1 million cases a year before Katrina, 1 million cases of beer. Now I don't know. Oh yeah, Cascade and Cluster Hops. Cascade and Cluster Hops and Pale Malt and Polished Rice. Uh, it, it's been in films, R.E.D., Southern Comfort, Tigerland, Steel Magnolia, Stone Cold, and Rope. In the novel, American Psycho and a Confederacy of Dunces. The original brewery was taken over by the state of Louisiana for a medical complex, seized by the state, condemned and then seized. The Brunos wanted to keep it, but uh, the previous owners, but the state said, you're not going to do anything with it, which they couldn't because they didn't have any money. I'm going to put the can back up. Two other beers they make right now is Dixie Light, which I don't care for. I prefer their old discontinued jazz, Amber Light, but oh well. And then their Black and Voodoo, which they've been making for over 25 years. Black and Voodoo. I really like Black and Voodoo. So here it is. Golden, bubbly. It's a lot darker than your average American lager, isn't it? Not much head, though. SK Reviewer, Wild Card Wednesday, coming up, coming up. Ronnie S. says, hey, buddy. Hey, Ronnie. BT Warner. Hi, Ron. Brian. Hey, BT Warner. Brian bought. Never seen it in Illinois, but I would love to try it. A new family that drank only this. Ronnie S. said, never had Dixie beer. I'm sorry. Um, it's got that <laughs> sourness <laughs> and that musty thing. I don't know what. It seemed like they did a good job with it up in Mon Monroe, Wisconsin, but they said they had changed the recipe. Then they went back to this, the original recipe. It was a little different in Monroe, but I thought it was good. I liked it, but my, I told my father today what it was like. He said, is it like the Dixie they used to make? And I was describing it like I just took described to you. He said, yeah, the same old garbage. I said, what? He said, that's one beer I couldn't stand. I said, oh, come on. I said, it's got polished rice in it, just like Budweiser. He said, another beer I never could stand. I never could stomach Budweiser. <laughs> he doesn't hold back his opinion. That Budweiser glass. He used to drink Miller High Life. Schlitz, Coors Light, Miller Light. I don't know. That's what he drank. 
if it had taste, he didn't like. I went on a road trip with my friend Paul, who I was just on the phone with. He's a member of Beer Talk, but he never joins videos anymore. He likes to do it, but he said there's too many children. He's got all these little kids, and they always bothering him. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to sit still for an hour while he does a video. He doesn't mind. But um, we were in Connecticut on U.S. Highway 1, riding along the coast, and we stopped in a liquor store, and I bought peels, a six-pack of peels. No. Yes. I bought three six-packs. Peels, and then I bought a six-pack of Meisterbrow, which I had never seen before and never again. I know it was popular up north. And then I bought a six pack uh, saw. That's right. That's what I bought. And then I saw Dixie in the cooler. I said, look at this, Paul, Dixie beer all the way from New Orleans. He said, yeah. That was nine years before Katrina. Oh, yeah. It's got a little of that city brewing funkiness. I don't think it's going to have that when it goes back to Dixie in New Orleans. Their brewery is almost ready. They had a big article in the paper today, big newspaper article. They said they think by January it's going to be ready to go. The Sazerac experience is opening on October 1st. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I mean is that City Brewing always has that strange grape drink taste. Mm -hmm. Even paper, I don't know. Or maybe Dixie always tasted like that. <laughs> I used to buy six packs for three ninety nine, y'all. Um, um, what was I trying to say? Uh, can't remember. Anyway, so it it looks nice. The smell, it's um. Kind of funky, musty, sour. Well, that does remind me of the Dixie Brewery because it was grimy, funky, musty, and sour and looked like it didn't get a whole lot of cleaning. And it, everything was aged in these huge cypress vats, cypress barrels, and then they had fermenting. Everything was cypress wood. They have a piece of it at the new brewery as a showcase to, so you can see the uh, cypress. Um I don't know if beer is supposed to be aged in cypress, maybe oak, but it gives it a strange flavor. I don't know if they have cypress barrels up in Michigan, I mean in uh, Memphis, but I doubt it. Gave it a unique, gives it a unique taste. Oh. Let's see, I got to close this out so we can go to Wild Card Wednesday. You can just hang around. I'll be right back. Hello, this is John Womack. Hello to everybody. I'm not going to keep saying hello because it's going to slow it down. Never heard of it in Pennsylvania, says John Mulcairn. Ari Lafleur, no Dixie beer in Massachusetts. Sorry to hear that. Ronnie S. says, Bud, wise. Er. Jeremy Vincent says, uh-oh, I'm late for wild card. No, you're not because this is not wild card Wednesday. Ron started early. No, but this is not wild card Wednesday. This is Dixie beer. <laughs> Cheers, Ron, the beer master of knowledge of beer. Yeah, well, maybe, but not really. There's only one beer master, says Ronnie, and his name ain't Ronald. It's Alex. All right. Um, bodies, medium. There's a little chalk. Chalk. Yeah. Now, when you get really deep into the Minha beers, and even more so City Brewing and Melanie Brewing, which is, they would never give me a straight answer. I asked them, I said, is Melanie Brewing owned by City Brewing or does Melanie Brewing own City Brewing? And they were like, well, um, they were very evasive. And I said, okay, by not answering that question directly, that gives me the answer. But anyway, you know, Melanie Brewing, who has such jewels as Milwaukee Special Reserve, Ice, MX, Malt Liquor, and all of those oddball gas station peculiarities that you'll see around, up north mostly. 
I know it's named after Melanie Seaver. She seemed kind of shocked when I told her that. I said, uh, oh, I think she was one of the four friends, the four loco friends that started a beer company uh, with a headquarters in Las Vegas a few years ago. Four crazy friends at Fusion Projects. You say four local friends, four crazy friends. I think there's some connection there, you know what I mean? I call it outlaw beer companies, outlaw. Uh, this one's fine. It, it is more flavorful than the other American lagers. I'm not saying it's better. It's got a more, it's got a richer and tangier and like a sour, you like sour beers you might like it i used to i remember 20 years ago 25 years ago people would tell me dixie i hate that sour stuff i'd say it kind of has character to it but don't you think if you're eating hot craw hot boiled crawfish but no nah, they didn't want they want Bud light but like ronnie yes is always preaching come on expand your horizons you don't always have to drink bud light why you always want to drink bud light you know you could drink another rice beer dixie I would say drink Bud Light over Dixie Light. I have to be honest. I don't think Dixie Light is too good. But um, this has a lot of character. It's a different beer. It reminds me of being in New Orleans at different places, drinking it. You know, people always would start talking about it. Lo, laughing out loud, it's Dixie Beer, drinking a fresh Columbus IPA, says Cole. Shout out from Las Vegas, says the Spanked Monkey. Four loco friends, says Ronnie S. Yeah. Cores that for that delicious cream corn taste. Yep. Well, so Dixie Beer, I like it, and I'm going to rate it. And I love the Dixie Black and Voodoo. My friend David and I did a review of that. He was like, A all the way, A all the way. I said, that ain't no lie. <laughs> And I missed the Crimson Voodoo, and I never got to try their white chocolate beer. But that was a real expensive one. It was like in a 22-ounce bomber, and it might have been, you know, real high price. Um, this is a 91 out of 100, an A-. minus, Because it's got a few little defects or strange things. But it doesn't make it just good. It is excellent in a way. It's excellent in its own quaint, peculiar way. And I think it has a lot more flavor than most of, like I said, these regular other regular beers. Um, I, I really liked it when it was $3.99 a six pack. <laughs> I don't like the $7.99 a six pack, but what can you do? It's You might find a $12.99 a 12 pack, though. You could find it for that. But I got the two tall cans for $4, so 50 cents a can. So that's pretty cheap for a, you know, it's pretty cheap. 50 cents a can, baby. All right. I mean, what am I saying? A dollar a can. <laughs> that ain't so cheap. All right. Oh, what happens when you wake up at 2.10 a.m.? You can't add correctly, get confused, discombobulated. Well, six dollars a six pack. And I have seen the tall can, I'm talking about the pint can, 16 ounce for like I have seen it for for $7.99 for the tall can six pack. And it's $7.99 for the bottle six pack. So yeah, you can get a good deal with Dixie. And you can go to bars and get it on draft. Now believe me. If you get it on draft, you're going to be ashamed to drink this because it's going to be way better on draft. And that's just a fact. Fact of life. Hello, has anyone had homebrew? Yes, I have. And I liked it. Coors Banquet is good, says Ronnie. If you had to compare Dixie to a beer available nationwide, what would it be? That's what's so hard. It doesn't taste like anything else. 
Uh, I used to say Ice House tasted like it, but that was before Katrina. So now I don't know. It's a, it's a real hard question. Yeah, I would say it tastes like nothing else. <laughs> 2, 2 10 a.m. baby yeah i was wiped up i was getting ready and i was thinking i can't even think right right now i was thinking that to myself i can't even think straight it's 2 10 a.m it was 2 20 by the time i thought that i said you gotta watch all these major league baseball how i'm shaving you know i said i'll get it together when i start drinking coffee but all right now it's on to wild card wednesday so i'm off of here a minus for dixie beer if you see it, buy it and try it. You, well, you might like it. It's kind of unusual. Get ready for that. Now I'm jumping over. I'm starting to set up Wildcard Wednesday. Let them know, Ronnie. I'm setting it up right now. Thanks for watching this video production.